we doing it? Right. Yay. Yay. We, we finally <laughs> leaving Branham. <laughs> people fuck my butt cheeks. <laughs> Very good. Uh, we're here in Brenham, um, which was named after an uh, old lady who got fucked to death during Skank Fest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone one, here test. is surprisingly aware of uh, Skank Fest. Mm -hmm. We were doing. Do you just want to do the bit we were talking about to start? <laughs> yeah, I'm the, just trying to. We've been we've been cracking because we've been on a ranch. We've been doing the Texas tour. And we've been just cracking up thinking of like old Southern guys with inside baseball knowledge <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> well, we were driving back on like an old country road last night and we were talking about how much we love Sean Gardini. Yeah. And Jace goes, I fucking hate him. <laughs> I, was, I was driving and I was leaning over the wheel like this and everybody's like, dude, Sean was great. That was awesome. And then there was a moment of silence. I go, fuck him. He fucking sucks. <laughs> He's a fucking me. Holding the steering wheel 10 and 2 yeah. like a psychopath <laughs> on a back country road in the middle of nowhere. Where being like, going, speak up, you massy retard. Yeah, speak up. And I was just, I was, I kept cracking everybody up. I was just like, Tommy Pope's a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's Tommy. ruined Steph Island. People were all friends with, by the way. And I'm like, Tommy, Tommy Pope's a fucking drag Tommy Pope, Tommy Pope's 55. He sucks. <laughs> Fuck him. But like, old weathered Texas guy who, like, in overalls with dip spit. <laughs> Yeah. He's just like, the mayor's a fucking retard. <laughs> a guy wrangling his cows, God like, he... I don't know about the mayor as the new producer. Chris O'Connor's a right fucking here. midget. Yeah, let me just. Uh... Dude, it would be so funny if we did the whole podcast and then died in a head on collision. <laughs> that would be very poetic. Yeah, 18 wheeler. It's so funny to think like there was like some like like <laughs> like some fat old lady like watching us set up all the mics in this <laughs> cute little town of Brenham, Texas. Like, mm -hmm. them boys are just gonna go do themselves a racist podcast. <laughs> oh, no, it's like it's like the equivalent of like seeing the nuns masked in like the town. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we looked like. <laughs> she looks away. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, boy, doing racist podcasting. <laughs> oh, you're from L.A., so that's why you say it inside the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, you suck, oh. dude. Uh, I kill yeah, now everybody's going to see it's a green screen. We're completely lying. <laughs> No, it'd be, even, it'd be even funnier because we lived in small towns, and there would always be like, oh, Ryan Gosling's here to, like, shoot a, you know, to, like, study for his oil rig worker movie that never got produced, like, I imagine like there's old guys at the barber shop being like, I heard them lemon body boys in town. <laughs> <laughs> here to talk about fat people. <laughs> Doing some real research, seeing the fattest people in the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I need man. to speed up. That uh, Denny's was um, one of the more depressing experiences of my life. I loved it. My heart hurts. Yeah. And Ben, uh, I think, might be poisoned because his bread was filled with mold. Mm. And then they didn't comp the meal; they just comped his meal. Yeah, that was very funny. I mean, but are we going to be able? I mean, it's literally like shaking up and down. <laughs> Dude, it's just shaking. I think we got to stop and then like tape it to the thing, right? Or am I wrong? I guess I have to. This is going to make people sick. Look yeah, at that. No, this, <laughs> dude, this legitimately looks like a Marvel movie yeah. fight scene. Should we give him a warning? Like, you need to do drama, man, before you watch the new episode. <laughs> <laughs> or fuck it, it's like Enter the Void, like Gasper now. I guess I could just. You could just shoot a selfie the whole time? I guess. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can I actually do this for an hour? I don't, I don't think you can. I don't can. think no. you can. We should just... I'll Getting pull me? off into... Why do these people need video? Let, let me pull off into an old country road. <laughs> <laughs> Here. We, we, are the, we are at the beginning of a new Kevin Smith horror movie. Four podcasters traveling across Texas, <laughs> and then we, we end up in Bone Tomahawk. Yeah, just pull off into Leatherface's shack here. Okay, great. Do, do, do. God, it's so funny. There's no, like, grocery stores. It's like a food oh, desert, sorry, right? But there's, like, nine fireworks stands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To get fiber, you have to eat dynamite. But then also, like, a cute coffee shop. I don't... Every every like small town has like that one like hipster coffee shop yeah. where they you know, sell stickers and olipops. 
they literally like build it so old people can get mad at the coffee shop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and go like, I shot a woman with a holding hands with a man down there. Heard you were at the non binary coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to move to Belleville now just to eat at Trump Burger every day and then Dude. walk across to the street to that blacksmith and make a knife. Trump Burger? And I'll do it every weekend until they ask me to leave town. <laughs> I want to get the Trump stamp and put it on all my sandwiches at home. Like, everything I eat has uh-huh. Trump stamped into it. Dude, the Photoshop, like, veteran photo of Trump is so funny in that place. Oh, yeah, yeah, where he was... That, that's like... Uh, was he, did, was that just like picture day for him? Like, was that like... No, I think it's Photoshop. I think it's completely well, like... Well, tell, tell the good people at home what Trump Burger is. It's a it's a, it's a a burger shack devoted to Donald J. Trump. It's really unbelievable. I will say we all ate burgers with the Trump name branded on them, and we were <laughs> way more racist throughout the rest of the day. <laughs> like, as we were digesting, the slurs were just flying. Yeah. We went over to the street, and we started making knives on an... Like, we were we were smithies all of a sudden. Yeah, me, Jason, and Devin were throwing axes at a wall. It was the greatest. And then we went home and fucking ran on ATVs and yeah, it was, chopped a tree down. Yeah. He would be proud. The manliest day I've ever had. The minute I ate that burger, I walked out of there, I could feel my white blood cells putting on hoods. <laughs> Dude, you've got to pull into this shirt. Dude, I legitimately can't find fucking anywhere. You can't pull pull up anywhere. We are, we are in the fucking middle of nowhere, dude. I'm going to, like, pull into a driveway, and we're going to get blown away by the fucking Whitaker family. <laughs> There's going to be a guy who runs at us like a dog and bites this our guy neck barking. God, these fucking retarded Texas roads. Yeah, there's no way to pull off, huh? It's like driving across Australia where you can just die and nobody sees you ever again. This fucking sucks. <laughs> fuck this. This day really does fuck, suck ass. Fuck podcasting. <laughs> fuck Texas. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this whole state. All right, I'm going to try to, like, fucking pull in here. I hope somebody hits us going 80 from behind. Dude, there's, like, four They're cars behind us. us right now that are pissed. I know. Here, oh, shit. oh shit! Oh shit! This is someone's. Ha- we're in someone's driveway now. That was. Uh, I know this is. Li- dude, this is literally only people's driveways. I guess just yeah. Turn. I'll turn oh, around. Do you want to try and t- fucking tape the thing to the mirror now, Ben? Uh yeah, I guess. Uh, well. Uh, are you good just holding it, or what do you? What do you? What's your plan here? Uh, I think it's. I gonna mean, look- once, I think Jace once Jace stops, like all like. Yeah, I think it's gonna look insane. Like to we're be gonna honest. have to stop recording, and then I have to turn the thing around. And then tape it where I can't see it, like we did that one time. I think otherwise it's just gonna look like fucking insane, to be honest. Yeah, it'll just look insane. We should go fuck that horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm parked now. Oh no, no, just get you out gotta of here. Get out of people fucking you gotta, kill you gotta, us. Yeah, be, yeah, get out of here now. This is like the hills of eyes. They're right, gonna well, come we, out. Do <laughs> not scare. Well, we're in within gunshot of them. Okay. Well, oh, but turn left. That's where we need to go. We need to go back. We need to go back. We do no. We're oh, good. did you have no, to turn? Good. No, yeah, we're, we're good. on our way to Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's what. And yeah. that Fort Worth, they got a bunch of cars in the in the soil, <laughs> and we spray paint them. <laughs> I mean, but we're not going to be able to stop for four hours. There's nothing but people's retarded houses. All right, well, I'll just keep holding it until we can, I guess. Okay. Got uh, even the cows sit here. Mm-hmm. Fattest cows I've ever seen. Truly huge cows. Oh, God. Almost as big as the people. Ben, do you feel sick from that food? Yeah, I mean, I ate a bunch of mold on the bread, and she's like, well, we should have charged you extra, I guess. <laughs> you, you, had ex- you had food growing on your food? Why didn't you charge him extra? <laughs> what? That was the blue cheese bread. <laughs> no, it's funny. We had a former meth addict, obviously, as our waiter, and he would come over. He'd, he'd come over, he'd do a joke. He goes, all right, you, you're you the closest. You're paying. He goes, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, before you could even, like, let him, I'd be like, I'm just kidding. I'm I really kidding. Thought, I really thought he'd be like, do you guys want to hang out later? He, he he asked us what we were doing for the Super Bowl. Yeah. He wanted to come with us, and he'd be crushing it right now in the truck. Yeah, dude. There was a guy sitting there with a tarp on. There was an old black man sitting in a booth. He had a tarp. Wearing a tarp. Yeah. For when he died. Did you see they that? They could just lay it down. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, there's uh, people so fat here, they sew a tarp into them, so they're easier to drag <laughs> off to the morgue. <laughs> they just sew it into their back. <laughs> like a dead like, horse. Like a butterfly <laughs> with wings flapping behind no, them. People are born here with, like, their toes are tagged. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're already on that cold steel <laughs> yeah. tray. No, no they, get, they get branded the second they pop out of the womb. People's brain stems grow into their brain like a beaver tooth here. <laughs> 
It's fucking. Everybody is a retard. <laughs> it fucking sucks. <laughs> Fuck this place. Uh, it is. It's just a sea of fat retards. Yeah. Yep. I wanted to kill myself in Houston. It was so depressing. It was really depressing. Houston was so dark. All the shows have been great, though. Phenomenal. They Austin have, was yeah. a, uh, amazing. Uh, yeah, Houston Austin was, was great. We had, a, we had a Marine piss his pants and then tell me he, he thought about killing himself. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out that guy. Yeah, it was great. Called he Devin an N word to his face. He put a diaper on over his pants and then pissed himself. Mm -hmm. And then he <laughs> called me the N word at the end of the night. Hard R. With a hard R. Hard R, yep. You know, after he was saying, he goes, Yeah, I killed a bunch of people over there. And then his wife. <laughs> and then he just goes, N word. <laughs> N word. <laughs> he goes, I'm retarded. And then his wife goes, He is fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> a guy who I asked to, for him to put a diaper on, and he put it on over his pants and then pissed himself. Yeah. That kind of is like the perfect, that's like the prototypical Lemon Party fan. <laughs> that well, kind of made like, perfect sense. It was funny. There was a moment we were talking about where, like, why does everybody, you know, we're like, why does everybody in the LA comedy scene think we're like Nazis and like <laughs> fucked up? And we had just eaten a Trump burger and then we're making <laughs> knives at a blacksmith shop. <laughs> We're really making knives out of horseshoes and throwing axes. We're like, I don't yeah. know why people think we're mean and Nazis. Then, and then there's a Marine in the front row pissing his pants with a diaper over his jeans, <laughs> saying the N-word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we went to the ranch, and me and Devin on ATV is calling donkeys faggots. Yes. <laughs> we were, we're <laughs> flipping off I was donkeys flipping going, off donkeys. Fuck you, faggot. <laughs> to a donkey. <laughs> and then we all listened to Kanye in a barn. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but that's what people think. You know, they think like white people like us are the only Kanye fans. Yeah, honestly, one of the most fun days of my entire life. It was a great fucking day. Yeah. It was a really great. Day. It was a great day. I, I mean, I love it out here. Yeah, and you know, I love how it looks the same everywhere you everywhere you go. It's so funny. Like as soon as we turn the mics on, we're like, okay, we can't talk shit about everybody we've been talking <laughs> shit about. Yeah. yeah, we literally ran out of people to talk shit about <laughs> last night. I'm not kidding. With five days, we were like literally looking at YouTube and we're like, uh, who else does comedy? <laughs> <laughs> like, who? I heard there was a new guy in Fort Worth who started open mics. <laughs> Maybe we could call him Let's a fucking dumbass. We talk shit so much. We're like, yeah, put on GTA Five and go to the comedy store. <laughs> Just start yeah, killing we forced people. the guy we didn't know to fly his jetpack to the comedy store. Uh, is this we're, getting, we're getting mad at him because he kept getting lost. Is this a spot? Can I pull in? Yeah, do this. This is a fire department. They'll come out and maybe hose us off. What do they do? The fire department here? Yeah. Oh, they start fires. <laughs> <laughs> they burn. They, when people die, they burn them up. It's like Fahrenheit 451, but for pounds. Okay, oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to stop recording real quick. Okay. Are you tired of cooking? Cool. You don't have to anymore. Factor has delicious, ready-to-eat meals that are chef-crafted, dietitian approved and sent straight to your door. With over 35 meal options to choose from each week, you'll never get bored. With midday snacks, smoothies, and wellness shots, you'll be on your A-game all day long. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. I love Factor. I've had it. It's really good. It's easy. It's quick. It's delicious. You gotta get Factor, folks, okay? So Factor is way less expensive than takeout and takes so much less time than waiting at a drive through All you do is heat up the meal for two minutes and you're all set. That's right. No prepping, no cooking, and no cleanup needed. Okay? No cleanup needed. Needed. Head to factormeals.com slash lemon50 and use code lemon50 to get 50% off. That's code lemon50 at factormeals.com slash lemon50 to get 50% off. Support the show and get 50% off factor at factormeals.com slash lemon50 and use code lemon50. Lemon50. Now back to the show. Back to the show. I live in the middle of nowhere, and I eat that Denny's and the bread's full of mold. They got Dalmatian toast down at the Denny's. It's really funny to complain about. <laughs> See, I like the type yeah. of toast that has spots. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny to complain about how gross your food was, or like unsanitary, and then the most disgusting woman comes over to... Yes. Console the situation. She literally goes, well, I was in the back looking at all of them earlier. I didn't catch nothing. She goes, she's I, like, I, I ain't five loves myself. I ain't seen anything like that. I'm wiping my ass with a few of the pieces. <laughs> but She literally said she came over and she like kind of slid over. And she was like, I checked out the bread myself, and I had a middle image of her like shuffling them like I a big know. deck of cards. 
<laughs> like a Donald Duck cartoon. <laughs> no one there walked. They all kind of rolled over like they had like Heelys on. <laughs> they spray paint the eggs at Denny's. Yes. It's it's fluorescent. It's like hunter camo orange. I've never seen yeah. an egg that bright. It's like it's trying to survive on the side of the road at night. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's also it's it like hurts your eyes to look at your plate at Denny's. Yeah, because everything is in hand. You need Eskimo glasses to eat eggs. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm like wearing, I'm wearing like ski goggles yeah. just to like look at my egg. I've right. also n- never been able to make more twirls with melted cheese in my life. <laughs> like it was like fun fatty or something. <laughs> It's also, it's fucking Sunday in Texas, so every place is closed but Denny's. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like they close it down for the Lord's Day. And it's the Super Bowl. Also, that's like not bacon, right? <clears throat> no, no, no. What all, is that? All the meat, they order a Domino's pizza, and then they take the meat off the pizza, <laughs> and they throw it in your omelet. No, they shave a piece of flesh off the cook's foot. That's really <laughs> what it tastes it like pan. and feels like in your mouth. They take a razor to a bunion and just let it land in the pan. <laughs> you go in the back and it's like Goodfellas. There's a guy cutting his bunion with a little razor. <laughs> yeah. Super thin. They go, this is Rufus's goiter. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking manager has edema. She just waddles over and looks at the bread. And she, she kind of looked at it for a second like... She was. She kind of frowned, and then a part of her was like, "I'm gonna eat that later." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "I'm not gonna let that go to waste. It's not that bad." Well, no, there was there's a, a dead golden retriever. I ate that Texas. Really that was a dead that golden retriever. Dead, Every half that mile, really there's sucked. a dead golden retriever, mm-hmm. and it was those like the, it was like rotting. Those are the oh, mile geez. markers in Texas. <laughs> 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 they go, "We don't want to waste meadow because we eat that, <laughs> so we just spray paint dead dogs." <laughs> <laughs> Man, that sucked out. Damn, a golden retriever. Too. That really sucked ass. I woke up. We were sleeping at Travis's ranch. I woke up. I didn't know there was donkeys, and I walked outside. There was just donkeys outside the window, like braying at us. Yeah, dude, they kick ass. They're very, donkeys. they're very cool. But it's also just you wonder why, like, why? What do you do with this? Well, also just like they scared the shit out of me. You just have that innate, you know, reaction to see an, a wild animal, and you're yeah. like, "Oh fuck!" I yeah. ran away from when I first saw the donkey. I don't trust any any, yeah. any animals besides dogs. Dude, when those dogs charge into our guest house, that was the scariest thing of all time. That, Two dogs I don't know, full sprint, run into us. Yeah, that giant white dog, God, that looked like a Lord fuck. of the Rings uh, character, a mythical beast. Yeah, it was fun though. Let's kill the beast. It's uh, you. You really understand like why people do this. You just have all this land. And you yeah. Just, you just wander out back. And no, it was a real wide, like eye-opening experience. Like all day yesterday, I was like, I fully get it. Yeah, I almost killed Ben on an ATV. <laughs> Did you really? I was making a turn a little too quick. I didn't know how they worked. Yeah, we were about to for sure die. I had to tell him to stop. Yeah, you actually. It was. I've never heard you that like uncomfortable in your life. You were like, "Whoa, Devin, okay." <laughs> <laughs> Devin thought he could full throttle an ATV through a windy little trail that's muddy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, are you that fucking stupid? I didn't. I don't know how that shit works. I thought they were immune to that shit. I thought they handled. Devin mud. thinks it's like a video game. Yeah. He's driving. I was like, hey, Bucko, let's go eight miles per hour around this. Well, then on the way back, you and Travis just like abandoned Connor and I. And I thought we were. We're gonna yeah. like get lost and just die in the woods. We were lost. We were legitimately lost. We're like we've been to this channel already. We, yeah, Connor was like, I've seen that moss before. <laughs> yeah, yep. we they they find you an hour later. You guys are fucking each other and <laughs> eating your own hands. <laughs> Immediately panic. I like the donkeys though because like a lot of livestock is really cool. Like goats are goats are sick because they just stare at you and they're yeah. like evil. And they sort of do their own thing. Donkeys are like dogs. They are. Where they just walk up, they want to be pet and be fed treats. Yeah. Which I'm cool with that. Me too. I like it too, but I don't like, I didn't want to pet them because they don't, they're not like bathed or anything. They're not soft They're either. just, they're out all day. Like you know in what? Rains but and- I thought about that. That's also kind of every, do- you know, you know how many times you pet Emma on the couch when you're drunk and you go, give me a sweetheart. You know when I gave her a bath last? 2022. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus is that Christ. True? Really? Uh... <laughs> Well, actually, yeah. she fell in the pool because a coyote pushed her in there. So I guess she got cleaned then. Emma literally like goes and gets sprayed by skunks, so Ben will give her a bath. <laughs> she's begging. She's for like it. the girl. She's like the girl who cuts herself so her dad will hug her. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fucked up. Every time I give Emma a bath, uh, she just licks her asshole and then licks her body. Like she's like trying. It's like a painter taking a little bit of paint on a brush and spreading it across a canvas. She does that with turds in her ass, and then starts spreading it around her fur. Yeah. 
I think we just passed like a civil Jesus war Christ. battlefield. Don't fucking pass me. There's a car coming, faggot. God fucking damn it, this stupid fucking state. What's the speed limit right here? It's 65. I'm going fucking 65. The guy's in a Mercedes, too. Yeah, he was, like, waving at me. He was about to pull out in front of another fucking you car. You should have said, yeah, it's clear. B- buddy, I'm trying to do subversive <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> and you're about to kill yourself. <laughs> Let's beat his ass. Every time we podcast in the car, it turns into Duel. To what? Sp- it turns into Duel by Spielberg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, this is illegal. What we're doing? Yeah, you, you, there's a phone camera hiding the mirror, the rearview mirror. I suppose you are right, Devin. You know? But luckily no one here cares about anything. Yep, and here he goes. Yeah, kill yourself, faggot. Did he honk at us? That he did. He did honk yeah. at us. You piece of shit. Let's hunt him I hope down. you get raped by a longhorn, you Jay, speed piece up. of shit. Yeah, Jay, speed, speed up. up. Let's Come scare on. him a little bit. We have a bigger <laughs> car. You And you both are fucking huge, all right? Yeah. Jay, she'll scare him. That is true. Yeah, and I'll yell uh, mean yeah. things at him while and you I'll guys go, handle it. And I'll go, it. get him, boys. You handle it. Right, you'll pull up his YouTube videos later and make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> What a cocksucker. Yeah. Also, what a fucking loser you have to be to have, like, a nice Mercedes out in this shithole. I know. What are you doing? Yeah, he's one of those guys cosplaying, like, ranch hand type of shit. <laughs> that was I, the area of Texas we were in. It was kind of like millionaires being like, I love being a rancher. I love going here for two days and checking on the Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love being a country boy. <laughs> Yeah, they all pride themselves in, like, the great work they do on their land, and then you go there, and there's, like, nine day laborers doing everything. Yeah. And you're like, mm-hmm. and what do, you, what do you guys do? You just kind of sort of sit in the home and yeah. look out yeah. the window? They go, I'm a bit of a roughneck. The other day, I cleaned my truck out by myself. <laughs> <laughs> they only have trucks to pick up Mexicans, Mexicans. at Home Depot <laughs> and then drop them back off. That's all. They're, uh, cowboys now, they're like a shuttle service for illegal immigrants. <laughs> and then they claim, they go, but my guys, he's like, I wish all illegal immigrants were like my guys. They're so nice, you know? They always have their own guys. They they're all the same were, guys. I've uh, met all those guys. They're yeah. all the exact same. Yeah. Yes. I've yeah. never met like a guy at Home Depot. I've never pulled into Home Depot and there's a day laborer guy standing there with a knife like this. <laughs> no, no, they're the nicest people ever. They're the nicest, sweetest people. Yeah. You give them a dollar, and they work for like years. Uh, They're very years. <laughs> <laughs> what was the bit we were doing, James? Where it was like the guy asked you a question, and you're like, "Oh, I don't speak English. I Spanish." And he was just, "Oh no, they, it was funny because the day laborers were leaving, and they just assumed they looked at me and assumed like, well, that guy probably owns this place." And uh, he goes, uh, "We uh, we gonna leave the the tiles." And I I didn't really understand. I go, "Okay, sounds good, dude." And then I just walked inside. <laughs> <laughs> but we were doing the bed. You you took out five dollars and handed it to him. I go, "All right, all right, man, just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> go back to Mexico, man." I went inside the main house. I'm like, "Hey, Travis, there's some homeless guy in the backyard asking for money or something." <laughs> I gave him five bucks, there, but it looks like he's still out there. There's a homeless guy back there building your entire property. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen these fucking free. Loaders yeah. that break onto white people's <laughs> land and take care of it. He's some migrant. He's like feeding the chickens out there, milking the cows. Yeah. <laughs> but we were doing this bit that I like. He like walks up to me. He's like, uh, he's like, hey, uh, and I go, no, no, sorry, no, don't speak Spanish, man. He's like, oh, j- just we're leaving the tiles here. I go, hey, man, no comprende, all right? <laughs> he's no comprende. Get your uh, Odele shit out of here, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I can understand you perfectly. I'm like, all right, all right, Juan. <laughs> it, it, is, it is hilarious We were just like Riding ATVs all day While all these guys Did hard work I know A couple of times Like me and Connor Were riding four wheelers around And they had to stop Doing work Because me and Connor Were driving through Their like <laughs> yeah. Field that where they were Like pouring concrete And like digging holes And stuff <laughs> We're like burning out In front of them Like <laughs> splashing mud All over their faces Dude I was doing like wheel. I was doing like Donuts in front of them <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was we we got there and um, I went to go just take a nap because I was tired and then I, I rolled over and the Mexican guys were working right outside my window with the blinds open. I was like, I was like, can you fucking well, keep you it shut down? the fuck yeah. up? <laughs> I thought this was a city problem. I know, and then I got self conscious, like I didn't want to like get up and just shut the blind. Like they were literally four inches away from the window. So would have been just... funny if we fired them for Travis because <laughs> <laughs> we were inconvenienced. Oh man, yeah. this is just this is uh, the saddest it's been. I think. What is this? I think we passed the Civil War like battlefield earlier. There was like a big cannon. 
Yeah, well, they Texas couldn't do the Civil War, but they started their own in 1940. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were busy with the war. They're like, we could probably do it now. <laughs> Yeah, we passed a big cannon. Uh, Devin, that's Fuddruckers. Yeah. <laughs> that's a... You, you stand like, right in front of the cannon, they just shoot food at you. Yeah, it's kind of like those uh, take-a-book libraries in, you know, L.A. Yeah. It's like uh, for the the hungry. And that's people who haven't eaten in 45 minutes. Man. Can't wait for this banquet hall tonight. Oh, yeah, and then the... So the show... That, like a fake comedy club. The, right? uh, the live podcast we did with uh, with uh, Shane, he he dropped in. That's going to be on the Patreon on Friday, for all you people wondering. We we paid a guy to film it for multiple angles. It's going to be really nice. So that's coming out on uh, patreon.com slash lemon party on Friday. That should be good. Yeah, yeah it was pretty uh, good. And yeah. We got one show left right now. We're driving to Fort Worth for contact. I guess we didn't give people contact while we're just driving aimlessly through Texas. They think we just flew here to drive and do a podcast <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we're like, yeah, the Texas killing fields seem like a safe place to record. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're at the end of a, a long, a grueling five-day tour. Uh, and I've been many different people throughout this trip. I yeah. think the favorite guy I've been so far is being the Houston Wigger. Yeah. 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 Dressing up in the Air Jordan jersey. That was great. Big it was... sagging pants, side, sideways Matt Rife hat with mm-hmm. the smiley face on it. You sang Wigger too loud at that Goodwill where like everyone was just like eating old underwear when we walked in. It looked like <laughs> some sort of, it looked like they were mining like shit-stained pants. Dude, it really was like pigs at a trough. It, it was really alarming. One of the darkest people, things I've ever seen. A hundred people stand behind a line in a Goodwill before these mini bins of dirty clo- unwashed Literally clothes. Literally underwear in piles of clothes. They blow a whistle and then everyone runs across the line. <laughs> <laughs> Literally squealing, yeah. and clothes are flying everywhere. Yep, yeah, and dude. it's all it's 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 every guy looks like they're in the Whitaker family, mm-hmm. and then there's like one like suspenders, oh, yeah. curly mustache, mm-hmm. like uh-huh. barista unicycle guy. Yeah, hipster from like 2008 is mm-hmm. there. Yeah, they were selling underwear, like old pizza crusts. Literally, like broken glass and underwear. <laughs> selling underwear by the pound and then oh we went God. out in the parking lot and I guess some guy got there early and got all the good stuff and he had like he had like underwear laid out in the trunk he was he's like, like alright best I can do is 5 for 20 he, yep. he was, and some guy was like dabbing him and I'm like yeah. are you guys selling drugs he was selling like, underwear like a mixtape out of his trunk <laughs> out front it was unbelievable now we don't charge but we, too da- we do take donations <laughs> And you're like, oh, I'm good, man. He goes, I already signed the underwear. You got to take it. See, yeah, it's like the Venice Beach guys. That's <laughs> I already, strong, sorry, already signed the underwear, man. Who should I make this out to? You you may as well sift through a trash can with used toilet paper in it. Yes. If you're going to do that. It was that gross. You're picking up underwear that has shit and piss in it. Yeah. From thousands of different people. Yep. Yeah. Thousands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Houston is really brutal. We straight up got, I, like, I think eight different Amber Alerts when we were in Houston. Just nonstop. Just stopped. Chil- children. I got an Amber Alert for myself. They, they, <laughs> they, like, a kid goes missing, like, every 20 minutes there. <laughs> they actually do Amber Alerts when they find a child. When a parent, like, wakes up and finds their child in their crib, they do an Amber Alert. <laughs> just to let them know to stop looking for this one in particular. Apparently, you can turn the Amber Alerts off on your phone, which is like that's a very funny that's very funny, funny to yeah do. <laughs> that's so funny to do that that's yeah. like being like i'm not donating any organs when i die <laughs> fuck you fuck Dude, everyone else no it's literally me. like it's literally like you go to the red cross bucket at the yeah. mall and you take money out of it <laughs> <laughs> you like tell the santa to go fuck himself and then you take five dollars here, here is the thing though like if i did see like, like oh be on the lookout for like a white she- chevy's like silverado and stuff and then like I, like, came into contact with that guy, like... I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't do anything. Yeah. I and mean, what am I supposed to do, like, run him like, off citizen, the road? I like, citizen's arrest! <laughs> and then he beats your ass. Give me the kid! <laughs> <laughs> I want to fuck the kid! <laughs> <laughs> Take me with you! You're that, a ball hog, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. if I was a pedophile, I would straight up try to track down Amber Alerts and then take the kid from the pedophile. So, yep. because the cops are still following... Right. That guy, it, the Amber Alerts might be for one kid that keeps getting passed around by different pedophiles. I, yeah. Like every twenty minutes, it's like a hot potato thing. I, I also like the idea if you're like an ethical sourcing pedophile, you're mm-hmm. like, well, I'll only take pedophile from the land. <laughs> yeah, I I'll want, only take children from the yeah. land and I, fuck them. I like small batch kids. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a fair trade, child? <laughs> 
I like my child ass uh, f- uh, free open range, free range. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. This is uh, you know, they don't they don't have many of these kids in Houston, but this kid has no corn syrup in him. <laughs> Free of seed oils. Yeah, this kid Travis is uh, grass fed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not doing shit if I like uh, if it's between. First of all, I can't fight anybody. None of us can. Well, Jace actually has. Jace is pretty good at fighting people. Yeah, but I, uh, I, uh, it, you're obligated to actually fight a pedophile. Yeah, I mean, I fought p- uh, people on behalf of you guys before, dude. So. I'll say this too. I'm not gonna get into a fight with a pedophile and then get my ass kicked. Yeah, yeah. I'm not telling that story where no, I'm like, no, yeah, no, I, tr- no, I like no, bowed no, up no. on the pedophile and he like easily beat my right. ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the cops, you're talking to the cops, and they go, honestly, you're just making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> like just, just you go sit down and we'll take care of this. All right. That's an L I can't take. I can't get my ass whipped by yeah. a pedophile. Yeah, you, he kicked your ass so hard it actually gave him enough self confidence to fuck more kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like? Damn, I'm the strong. Strongest pedophile of all time. Yeah, they were like, this was an F4 pedophile. You moved him up to an F6. Congrats, fuckface. Dude, that might be the dark night of the soul I need, though, to, to like, uh, have some sort of rebirth where I, like, I, I could see, if I get my ass beat by a pedophile, I go in the garage, I get, a, uh, I get some weights. Mm-hmm. And I basically yeah. become uh, Kevin Spacey from American Beauty. Yeah, you mm. think about his route a lot. It's it's starting to worry me. What the you, American Beauty? You really want like you want a marine to execute you in your mm-hmm. garage, and yeah. that's the best out of like his characteristics. Like yeah. it's either that or he's a pedophile. <laughs> well, uh, now Ben's into knives, so yeah. I mean, I made I made this fucking knife right here. Check this it's shit. Pretty out. cool. It's Look pretty at this sick. fucking knife. It's a pretty sick knife. No. Wait, when did so you wrap sick. it? When did you do that? Huh? When when you wrapped, wrapped it? it? I wrapped it this morning with a bike wrap. Damn. Look at that. That yeah. looks awesome, dude. It's really sharp, too. Let's find the kid. Let's kill the guy. <laughs> dude, what the hell? What? what are stab, you doing? Stab I thought the car. you were like stabbing my helmet. No, 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 I was like, that. stab the car. Yeah, don't stab the car. What are you dude. doing? Stab this piece of shit vehicle. I like how you ask them, is like, you guys, that Sam Bowie's real knife? And they go, the guy goes, it's a replica. It's a replica. And you go, no, I know. And then he just stared at you blankly. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. They, they had like a big knife that said Sam Bowie's a knife. He goes, uh, it was a replica. And he goes, yeah, but he used it to kill people. And the guy's like, um, he goes, yeah. Yeah, it's a, but it's a, this is a replica. It's not that one. And then that other guy, uh, you were like, "Look, guys, I'm make, I'm making a knife." And he goes, "All right, Michelangelo, settle down." <laughs> <laughs> they were really uncomfortable with me and like how much I was getting into it. Yeah, yeah it was like it was it was very no, funny. Dude, it was very funny because the other the person behind you was a four year old kid, and he was like, "This is fine, whatever." <laughs> yeah, he was so unamused. He was like, "Who gives a shit?" And you're like, "Whoopee!" <laughs> and the kid next to you is like, this is fucking gay, mom. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Well, me and Connor are, trying to th- are throwing tomahawks as hard as, as we, hard as we, we can. fucking can, dude. Literally, it's like, dude, I, I like woke up and my shoulder was sore from throwing tomahawks. <laughs> yeah. It felt so good, dude. Dude, it was it was so funny because like we threw like 10 of them. It, there was a, a thing like right next to where Ben was making it. And it, after like 10, I turned to Connor and I go, I man, I just want to sink this into a fan's chest. <laughs> God, that feel that would feel so cool. Imagine launching a tomahawk from stage. <laughs> a guy's heckling, and you're just like <laughs> straight in the forehead. Yeah, just the like, crowd loses their minds. Yeah, like a Mel Gibson in the Patriot. <laughs> I was like, give me back my son! And then <laughs> fucking cave in his chest with a tomahawk. Oh, man. Dude, it felt so good. We Dude, were so good at it, too. We were naturally good at it. Yeah. yeah my first throw, good. I got a dead-on bullseye. And the guy goes, well, it doesn't get much better than that, so. <laughs> he goes, well, I've seen this before. Sean, have you thought about getting into racism? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to I was getting It was so easy I was getting bored I tried to do an underhand flip And like almost Fucked the axe up Yep Yeah When you guys see Like a field of cows Like that Of like two or three hundred cows Does part of you Want to go around With a handgun And like a case of ammo And execute each And every one of them <laughs> Oh of course I, I want to yes. walk up To each and every Single cow with a And put a, a gun to I want to shoot them them With a Gatling gun Like I want Or like an AR-15 Like something that's Like hunters would be like that's, You don't do that Use Dude, that on an animal Like Just that. like yeah. riddling a cow With a 900 bullets. Yes, like a madman. <laughs> standing like over, a, just <laughs> Tommy gun to its head. Yeah, yeah. baby face Nelson <laughs> yeah. on the side of a car. There is something about the surface area of a cow, like when you drive, you want to lean out the car with a machine gun. Yeah. 
I want to blow up a cow with like a bazooka or something. Can you, you can pay do, someone to do that? You can that? do that in um, Thailand, I think. You can uh, yeah. pay a guy like 500 bucks to blow up a cow with a bazooka. That would kick That's so much unreal. ass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could probably do it to like people too. Let's yeah. go on tour in Thailand. <laughs> Dude, imagine if you did. You probably couldn't, like, even fuck your wife anymore. You're like, I blew up a cow. Like, just yeah, does like, nothing for me. Yeah, nothing. I can't get hard. I put a grenade in a cow's ass, right. and nothing really does it you're for trying me to, anymore. You're trying to stay hard on your wife, and you're like, uh, a kid getting sawed in half slowly. <laughs> uh, uh, a I, cow being torn in half. I actually hate farm animals so much. I would love to detonate a barn. With, like, all what? the animals inside. I'd love to, like, wire it with C4 and shit. <laughs> and then, like, stand 100 yards away and watch the whole thing blow up and melt. And, like, they're all, all the cows and sheep and goats and chickens, they're all running out and they're on fire. Yeah. They're, they've, like, lost, like, uh, remember when they blow up the house in fury at the end? Oh, right. I want to sure. do that to a barn and they're all running out. They're on fire. Yeah, I want to treat a-, a chicken pulls a gun out and, like, <laughs> blows its head off. <laughs> Yeah. There's a rooster doing like that walk they do in movies when they're on fire. When they're on fire. Yeah. It's very interesting that no one ever walks normal when they're on fire. Yeah, they're always no. holding their damn hands. They always out. walk like they're in like really uh deep Yeah, they sand. do like a very cinematic walk. What's yeah. is cow tipping a real thing? No, it's not a real no. thing. You didn't know anyone did that growing well, up. Well, cows don't sleep standing up. Is the thing like that's a myth? Oh, okay. Yeah, they sleep with, just like dogs. They really are exactly like dogs, except we blow their heads off and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy getting close to them. I'm like, man, they look pretty smart and, and they're very cute. But I could give a fuck. I'm eating burgers for the rest of my life, dude. I just kept having a visual of me hitting a donkey with the ATV, and it was making me laugh so hard. <laughs> just dude. full speed, just ramming a donkey. Dude, there was. That, it remi- when I saw the donkeys, it reminded me of that train video from India. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Uh, no. There's oh, a the train one Rogan going f- makes everyone watch. There's a, yeah, there's a train going full speed, and it hits a donkey, and the donkey just unfolds. Because <laughs> 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 it's this fucking dumbass donkey. <laughs> and it's literally just standing there, like, chewing. <laughs> 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 it doesn't even, dude, it doesn't even try to move, and then it just unfolds. Oh but my, my friend God. Luke was having, he texted me, he's like, I'm having a really bad day. And I was like, what's the matter? He's like, oh, this, that, and the other. And I go, this will make you feel better, buddy. And then I just... <laughs> <laughs> and it what just I, made him feel way worse. What, what's great about the video is, like, the donkey's there, and then it's a red mist. <laughs> yeah, <no>. And, like, <laughs> there's kind of no difference. No, I you know. know what I mean? Like, the before and after, you're like, yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it had no, like... <laughs> inner inner life and it didn't really do anything like I don't know what donkeys really do besides like they beat the shit out of coyotes when they come yeah to I the didn't property. understand I asked Travis I'm like but what do they like what do they do and he was like they just they donkey man they just donkey mm-hmm. apparently they like they legitimately rape coyotes when coyotes come on the property they stomp them out they rip their heads off they like eat them and shit they don't eat them but I think they I do yeah. think it's funny to hate an animal because it lacks ambition that's very funny no, I when I'm out in the middle of nowhere for too long, all I start thinking about is how I can commit like genocide against nature. <laughs> all I want to do, I see like a, a huge tree of like birds and squirrels. I'm like, I should just light it on fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> I should light the whole damn thing. Yeah, on you're fire. Daniel Plainview, vote for like bugs and flowers. I mean, yeah. I th- I think the same way when I'm just at a crowded mall. Oh, I just yeah. start be like, God, I'd love to throw a Molotov cocktail into that shoe palace. <laughs> <laughs> just watch everyone burn. I would love if we figured out that's a great way. Way to stop uh, school shootings in America is we just let people like Ben just shoot up a bunch of cows one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh, I would love to. Uh, I'd love to like create like electric chairs for like barnyard animals. Yeah. It would be I funny. Would, to, I would love to like have death row yeah, right, on the farm. You're doing Chain the, up a cow. You're doing the. <laughs> <laughs> doing saw for. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you know that old like uh, torture technique where they tie your limbs up to. Like four different cars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doing that to a, a car. Dude, just pull dude, you, you, you pull and quarter a horse <laughs> with other horses. What's the one where they put used to put people on the wheel and then they'd spin it and break every the, single one of their the limbs rack. off? The rack. Yeah, so you're it's like two wheels, one is stable, and your arms and legs are tied to the one that's stable, and then they, they turn the wheel until every single one of your limbs rips off as you're oh screaming and bleed God. out. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I do that to a chicken. <laughs> I'd actually love to go into a chicken coop and like tie up one of the chickens and then like make it eat its egg. I take its baby <laughs> and like start putting it down yeah. its throat. There's other chickens like throwing out. <laughs> Dude, imagine you, imagine you're in chicken run. It's like the start of chicken run. The lady's just like she's a, she's not a great owner. And then 
<laughs> and, then, and then you buy the farm. <laughs> it's a it's a wall Grandma Ben shows up and starts like butt raping chickens and like I'm a chicken rapist. Yeah, fucking like set, like making them eat their children. Uh, so it, it turns into chicken Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's 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 Chickler's list. <laughs> you see you see Ben with a rifle at the top of the barn smoking a cigarette, aiming at the they're, child. What, they're trying to make like a run for it and shit. <laughs> I just keep killing all of them. We're laughing so hard at the idea of catching a bird and then blowing its head off. Uh, it's, that would rule. That makes me laugh so hard. Nobody, I guess there's got to be a couple of screwball farmers out there that are like, Oh yeah, they do it for the love of the game. Like they are not, they're not trying to make like an honest living. They're not salt of the earth. They're yeah. legitimately running a concentration camp yeah, no, with they, animals because they're sick. Yeah, it's they, like hostile. Yeah. I gotta, well, but gotta, also, gotta, why not have fun with it? You know what I mean? Like you gotta cut the chicken's head off anyway and just build a guillotine. That is actually a good point, Carl. That'd be make yeah. it fun. It's miserable already. Mm-hmm. But putting yeah. a chicken to a guillotine would like brighten your day. But I do love, I do love your point, Ben. The, the idea of an old guy in overalls at the small town bar. It's like, not a lot of money and it's hard work, but the, God damn it, I just love murder. <laughs> <laughs> I love killing and fucking yeah. things up. It's just my passion. I don't know. <laughs> that uh, he goes up to a cow and he like he he bows up on it like an like an Irish guy on a dock in like 1920. And he just starts he just starts punching the cow in the head, just <laughs> rocking it one two, and he just he hits it for hours until it dies. He's just punching a cow in the head. Just uppercutting a cow. Uppercutting. Fucking. Mortal Kombat, like, crouched all the way down, uppercutting a cow. Dude, how good would it feel to beat a cow to death with your bare hands? It really would be great. It would kick so much ass. He curb stomps a cow, drags it to a little piece of pavement. Mm-hmm. I planted a key in this sheep's eye, chained it up. There's a bomb in the room. He's got 20 minutes there's to a, get the key. There's a little squirrel on the saw bike, just like, I want to play a game. <laughs> I actually, I don't like barnyard animals because they smell bad and they have, like, bugs on them. It pisses me off when they're around me. I'm like, get away from... Like, when a sheep comes up to me, I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. Immediately, immediately fuck you. When I see, You're not cute at all. When I see a, a goat, I want to st- stab a knife in its neck like Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> I hate goats. That goat was, like, staring at us yesterday. It was it's very evil. creepy. Yeah, they it's they come, up, they come up with shit. their coin machine eyes. I fucking hate them. Mm-hmm. We were I in want- the middle of the woods looking at a cross, and then there was a goat just staring at us. It was really it, unnerving. It was very, like, yeah, very gothic and creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to kill everything on that farm, though. <laughs> I'd love to legitimately kill everything. Yeah. I'd make them kill each other, too. Uh-huh. I would, like, have two donkeys. I would tie, like, ropes to a chicken and then, like, tie the ropes to donkey and then, like, do the thing where then you, you smack the donkey on its ass yeah. and it starts running and it rips the chicken and it <laughs> rips the chicken you apart. You know what? You'd make banjo kazooies and make them fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> you sew like, them together. Yeah, you'd sew a chicken to a dog and make it fight two donkeys with their heads <laughs> taped. <laughs> Yeah, just driving a forklift slowly into a cow. <laughs> Two giant <laughs> holes. Just <laughs> this is this is kind of dark, but uh, and like obviously like obviously everything I just said is is true, and I want to do. <laughs> sure, yeah. but I would never like lay a finger on like a cat or a dog. Mm-hmm, yeah. No, no, obviously. No. But uh, I, we do this guy growing up, Chase. I don't know if you remember this. Remember he had that really fat wiener dog. He was like a, he was like the fattest wiener dog anyone's ever seen. He was went to our school. Yeah, yeah. Where it, like a wiener dog that looks like a doctor's glove filled with water. Right. Like you blew up a doctor's glove. Right. He was trying to fatten it up for hot dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, he backed up in his big truck over the wiener dog. He didn't know it was in the driveway. Uh, and it literally <laughs> exploded. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. God. Which is Christ. so sad, but also, like, so funny. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, it popped like a balloon. It, po- yeah. it, it popped like a blimp. Yeah. <laughs> no, it popped like a tick. Like, you squished a tick. <laughs> just a fat-ass, full tick. Fuck. <laughs> It like it's so. I am also laughing just because it's so sad and tragic. Like I don't know. I think about it all the time. Unfortunately. Yeah. Oh no. I think I mean, about it like once a week. I've, t- I've <laughs> talked about it before. On one of these back country Texas roads, I was driving to mom and dad's house. It was like midnight, and a dog just ran in front of me, and I hit it, and it it was the donkey video. It unfolded. <laughs> That's so sad. On the car, dude. I had to stop at a gas station and like wipe the window down. <laughs> <laughs> like this dog. Like I didn't even go back because I'm like, there's not. There's five pieces of this dog right now. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, I, I used to dream about it uh, for a little bit, but now I don't. Dude, give I've a, like, I don't I, give I, a fuck. I ran over. Shit. I ran over a bunny once, and I like I pulled over and like cried. I wanted oh, to kill dude. myself. I hit a bird one time. Like with it hit my windshield, and I started crying so much. But I'm like, don't we have an agreement here? You're supposed to yeah. get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, fly. Oh, I don't care about birds. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I, would, birds. I would kill yeah. all birds if I could. I really hate birds. I think dude, they're when gross I was in, and they're creepy. And when I was in high school uh, on the baseball team. This guy on my team was like, hey, you want to see something cool? And I go, sure. And he's holding a brick in his hand. He drops it, and it lands on a lizard. <laughs> 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 and it just exploded. <laughs> Dude, people are going to be so upset about this episode. <laughs> yeah. We're just talking about animal death <laughs> I, for, like, the past 35 should minutes. Should we move on to people? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you just unlocked a memory. I completely forgot about this. I had a... Uh, I had a minnow I found and took to class when I was like in second grade, and uh, we were letting it change into a frog, and it was my minnow, and we called it Legs, and uh, one day it had grown uh, legs, and uh, over the weekend it hopped out of its thing. And oh, it's like a tadpole or whatever? It was like a tadpole with like just little frog legs. It hopped out of its little enclosure and, and dried up and died, and I was really fucking sad. And so we had a funeral for it, and we, we buried it uh, in the yard uh, before recess. And then after recess, I, I saw some uh, kindergartners uh, over where we had buried it. I went over, they had dug it up, and were pissing on it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, and I was like, you know, as a second grader, I was like 5'11". So I was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I have, a really, uh, I have a really fucked up oh, story ahead, that I told, I told I on the podcast before, but my buddies, uh, I, these two friends growing up who lived on a farm in Shadow Hills. Have you heard the story? The, the whole, it doesn't matter. Uh, so they uh, they were dirt poor, and this guy who owned this farm let their family live there if they did like, you know, ranch work or like farm work, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm maybe like seven or eight years old, and I had pet rats. They knew I liked rats. I had pet rats growing up, and they wake me up at like 3 a.m. one night with a flashlight in my face. Two guys, they're like, Six years older than me. One's holding a handgun, the other one's holding a katana. <laughs> and they're like, get up, motherfucker, come with us. And I was like, where are we going? I'm so scared. And we walked to these chicken coops, and there's a giant, like, just like plywood, like, cover of this thing. And they're like, hold this flashlight, stand right there, do not move. And I was like, well, okay, whatever you guys say, cool older guys. And they lift up the wood, and it's maybe 200 rats. Ugh. And they just start unloading round after round and <laughs> chopping them up with a samurai sword. <laughs> it was like Fruit Ninja for rats, dude. Just blood everywhere, and I'm scream crying, because I'm like, these are my pets. And I'm like, oh my god! And, the, and, the, <laughs> and then they turn the gun at me, and they're like, don't move, pussy! Like, it was the worst. They pointed the gun they at pointed you? They pointed the gun at me, and be like, stay right there, bitch! <laughs> I can't believe this is real. I I swear to yeah. God, this is real. It sounds like a nightmare. And then, <laughs> but here's the kicker. This is my favorite part of the story, is that we go back, and I'm literally, like, shell-shocked. Like, my eyes, I can't close my eyes. I'm shaking. It's, like, the worst thing I've ever seen. And the oldest brother was such a sociopath, he could, like, tell I was upset. So he goes, hey, man, I can tell you're upset. Let me show you something fun, though, all right? This will cheer you up. And then he showed me cartoon porn of Princess Jasmine getting fucked by her tiger. <laughs> That's how he made it up to me. I was seven years old. I just watched 200 rats get massacred, and then he showed me hentai. Dude, that's like what MK Ultra does to children. Yeah, that's <laughs> that could have like completely wiped your personality. How am I somewhat okay and normal? Those guys work for the CIA. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I just love that you grew up an alpha dog. It's so funny. I know, dude. Uh... Uh, dad, when he was in town, he was like, every morning I'd make him coffee, and he would <laughs> he would sit at the kitchen table like Tommy Lee Jones at the end of No Country for Old Men, sure, just staring out the window. Uh, because, but I haven't dreamed in forty years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't dream anymore. <laughs> My brain knows there's no fucking point. And it's like you're just making coffee, and at one point he'll just, like he just starts talking. Sure. He's just in a narrative with himself. Yeah. yeah. He was just like looking out the window, and he goes. Uh, yeah, there's this boy named uh, Corey. I don't know if you remember him up in Clarendon, but uh, one time these old boys came down there and they were they were talking a bit of mess to Corey, and he he wanted he wasn't taking it from him. They want to leave him alone, so uh, he bowed up on him, 
And uh, there was this little kitten walking by, and he picked up the kitten, ripped its head off, <laughs> and uh, he threw the, he threw the cat's body and the head at him. And then he and then that, those boys never bothered him again. Mm-hmm. Oh I'm like I'm like, do you God. want oat milk with this, or <laughs> yeah. you want? I could put vanilla in it if you want. I love telling like that, and those boys never fucked with him again. <laughs> <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, son. If life gets hard, fuck up a kid. Fuck up a kid. Rip a cat's head off. I go, man. Corey was like insane, right? And and Dad nods. He goes, yep. He was pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Saw him kill he a gay guy once. <laughs> <laughs> he ripped his head he off, goes, I don't too. know what. I told the story wrong. It wasn't a cat. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a cat. homosexual we man. We used to call fags kittens back then. <laughs> Because well, what we what we do, they got that name because what we do if we found one, we'd all jack off in a saucepan and make him drink it like milk. And we go eat shit fag and then we cave their head in. But of, of course, of course, this was different times. This was 2019. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucking, uh, that's brutal, man. I mean, dad one time told us casually, like, I didn't know this. I think I was like 18 and dad was just like, we were telling like, we were talking about like, I don't know, like school stories. He goes, that reminds me, um, there was a kid in my class who was really weird. And one day he took a gun to school and shot the teacher in the head. <laughs> Wait, it, was, it was like a 12 man school. There it was, was a one classroom, 12 man school. There were five people in his class and like four in the others. Four he in lowered the, other. the population of the school by 10%. Yeah. So my dad just casually was like, oh, by the way, I watched a man's head explode one day. <laughs> And uh, they said he walked over to the... Uh, I tried to historically look it up, and I couldn't find any record of it. But, like, everybody I've talked to, it's real. Yeah. From out there. But it's, like, they I think it's, like, the first recorded school shooting. Because right. this was, like, 1977. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah what are they going to put in the newspaper? America happened, you know? Yeah. Like, small-town America yeah. happened. He was a, we have a pioneer in town. <laughs> <laughs> a man with a vision lives here. We should celebrate this day. But uh, he said he walked across the street to the soda found shop... And and just had himself a Dr. Pepper. He went, so the guy, he he was in the hallway with a gun. He's, I think this was his junior year. He's in my dad's class. He was uh, just standing in the hallway with a gun. And then the principal saw him. He goes, what the hell, boy? You should be in class. <laughs> <laughs> like it didn't even register. Like, people just yeah. had guns. They just there. had guns. He goes, yeah. he goes, son, gun day is Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the, the guy turned around and shot him through the head and killed him immediately. God, and then Jesus. He, he just, like, put the gun in his waistline, walked across the street to the little, like, uh, corner store. Yeah. And he looked at the proprietor, and he laid the gun on the counter. And he said, uh, I've just shot the principal. You need to call the police. And then he sat down and waited for the police to come. Did, and then did, when they came, they go, why did you do it? And he goes, the devil told me to. Oh, okay. Uh, that was my follow-up question. Yeah, what was the motivation? And my dad goes, so you need to go to church. <laughs> Make sure you go to church because if I don't, if I miss a week's service, I want to blow y'all's heads off because it'll be my only escape from this hell I live in. <laughs> I love being out here. It really brings me back. <laughs> you know, that's a, when you're out here in the middle of nowhere in Texas, like I'm, we're so close to the epicenter of everything that happened to us. And the only memories that come back is like cats getting their heads ripped <laughs> off. Yeah. Like people being possessed by the devil and killing the mayor. No, I literally had the thought because we're like, you know, we're driving and podcasting. Like if the local sheriff like pulls us over, he could just skull fuck all of us. and <laughs> Like, literally nothing would happen. <laughs> Dude, we could literally have, like, Buford T. Justice walk up and boy, be like, well, give me the pretty boy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boss, suck my hog. Yeah, we'd try to offer up <laughs> Connor. Over. We'd offer up Connor as a sacrifice. <laughs> He's not a member of the podcast. You can have him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like him hairless. <laughs> I'm going to pet him for a while before I fucking kill him. 
<laughs> he puts me on a leash. We go, sir, he's real smooth like. <laughs> he's real smooth like down there, sir. I'm going to come on his glasses. <laughs> the sheriff shots. pulls us over. He goes, I'm going to find you fellas for uh, seeking consent from a lady <laughs> back in Bastrop. <laughs> I heard tell you asked her if she was into what you were about to do. We heard that a few counties back a woman didn't scream <laughs> in an experience with you. We heard uh, back at Trump Burger you used the word economics. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't care for that fancy gay shit down here. We could here. tell you took pictures ironically. We could tell it's ironic. I mean, one of your boys wearing big gay orange sunglasses like <laughs> Elton John. <laughs> what the world right. come to? You ask a woman what she wants. And fucking no, no consent for old men. Is this car going to go around That's you? That's what or? I'm trying to get. I mean, it's the... just... Now Jason's rolling down the window and waving. He's going to pull up beside us. And it's literally it's literally a giant chicken. Yeah. I, I wave him right into this truck coming and he dies. It's another four guys podcasting. <laughs> yeah, we, we drive, we see an old dirty Jeep and there's a, there's an old man podcasting behind it. <laughs> Have a good one, sir. Wow. Have fun at your clan rally. <laughs> We see a guy in a clan out there funny. driving a Dodge Dart. <laughs> I just told a story that we just edited out of the podcast. Yeah, that everybody. wasn't that wasn't true. It wasn't by the way, it wasn't true. Yeah, yeah. In well, the, but in the story, Jace was really cool. Yeah, I was really cool. He told a story about me getting too much pussy too often. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I told them I'm sad. They gotta believe me. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, it's a story about Jace punching a Nazi in the face and getting his dick sucked. Yeah. I don't want him. I want him to think I'm on well butrin and a loser. I do kind of miss those stories from 2016 back when comics used to make up that stuff where they'd be oh, like, yeah. they'd be like, I was at a bar in Silver Lake and the grand wizard of the KKK rolled up <laughs> and I said, uh, eat shit, dickhead. Dude, and I man. held him down and I punched and everybody was around me cheering, going, go, 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 mm, go, yeah. go. And the mayor came and gave me a big check for $10,000. Mm -hmm. Dude, remember there was like a literal article, like an expose about how Kumail Nanjiani and Thomas Middleditch were called a cuck at a bar in Silver Lake. Beca by Trump, uh, Trump supporters. Yes, because yeah, Trump yeah. had just won. Uh, there's a dog. Should I hit it? It's literally a golden retriever. <laughs> oh, my God. Standing in there's the a golden retriever. Dude, should I pull taking its, its time, too. Well, the dogs out here are begging to get killed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll drive by dogs, and they'll be like, cool, 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 please, please. No, every dog you see is essentially just escaped the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. Mm-hmm. It's about to get eaten by its owner. Yeah, but Kumail and uh, who yeah, was the Thomas, other guy? Thomas Middleton. Middleton. Yes. They were at that uh, gay they bar. They got interviewed in because somebody called them a cook. Yeah, and they're like, it's scary what Trump's like doing to this country. Dude, it's know? really scary out there. We're not safe. Meanwhile, yeah. Thomas Middleditch was like, you know, holding a woman down at like knife yeah. point in the bathroom, <laughs> yeah, supposedly. Do, doing Chinese voice. It's yeah. not safe out there. People might accurately yeah. identify Meanwhile, you. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas was just like, he called me a cuck. I'm just opening my marriage and getting divorced because of it. <laughs> um, God. We're kind of at the end of the episode here, actually. How long yeah. have we done? Uh, I think before we stopped recording, we were like 15, and now we're at like 45. Okay. I like looking at all the pump jacks. Don't you love the damn pump jacks? They're beautiful, aren't yeah. they? Just big, rusty sons yeah, of bitches sick. pulling just everything me. out of the earth to kill us all. <laughs> 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 Look at them. As, as long as you see that pump jack swinging, you know that the wheel of death keeps turning. Yep. Yeah. And, and knowing because that pump jack exists, a guy named, like, Jack Hitler is now a U.S. senator. <laughs> Jack Hitler. <laughs> in Texas. I was about to ask for a second. I'm like, are pump jacks pulling oil out of the uh, ground, or is it water? And I'm like, there's no way it's water. <laughs> no. It's Texas. No. There's no way. Hey, it's water. No, they're like, oh. we found a res we found an aquifer of code red. We're gonna pull <laughs> yeah. up. We're pumping Gatorade. Yeah, we're gonna pull out red. They look at soda prices here like it's it's oil drum prices. Like yeah. it's Al Qaeda, but there's like an ocean of Pepsi yeah. beneath them. <laughs> they're like, damn Biden, I can't even afford the Mountain Dew Hawaiian punch combo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to pick like Hawaiian a, punch combo. Like a goddamn Muslim. <laughs> I gotta drink diet now, like a queer. Like right, a I guess queer. I gotta drive to Silver Lake and call Kumail a, a <laughs> <laughs> That's where this country's come to. 
It's so funny to be like, no, that guy thinks I'm a cuck because he loves Trump. It's not because I am a cuck <laughs> yeah, and I dude. suck ass. <laughs> it's so funny that, by the way, Kumail Nanjiani is, uh, did you guys see he's going to therapy now? Yeah. Because he, the reviews because the for, for Eternals, Eternals was right. Yeah. Because, yeah, because he turned his body into like a factory farmed cow for the last three years. <laughs> <laughs> he has like, like roided up like bull body mm-hmm. and then uh, for a movie that nobody cared about. Yeah, he has the body of those cows that genetically modified. Modified to like yeah. miss a chromosome. Yeah, he looks like a giant tomato <laughs> at a <laughs> shitty grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> and for a movie no one saw. And now all those people that are in the Marvel movies just keep doing interviews like, yeah, it's tragic that art is dead and I have to keep flying in the sky and doing shitty things in movies. Like, they all have no respect for the Marvel movies. I love everyone's, like, come to reality moment with the Marvel movies. Like, they do their first, like, non-Marvel movie in, like, ten years and they're like, it was actually fun. Yeah. I felt like I was creating something. Yeah, they go, there was a script. (laughs) I had to learn to read for this one. Yeah. It's he. Uh, Kumail said he has uh, like a lot of trauma <laughs> from like <laughs> from making millions of dollars and being like a sex symbol in a Marvel movie. He has like trauma oh, for God. that. He really, is, which is so trauma? funny considering, especially because he he's from that. Pakistan. Mm. Yeah. Like he's not from like it's not like he's from like Switzerland no. or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to be fair, he did have a slave in Pakistan. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> that, true. Is very, that is actually, That's actually true. true. He had a slave who sat on the floor. <laughs> yep. Wait, what? Like, dude, like statistics. That's, a real, that's yeah. a real thing. I remember a very old interview where somebody was like, didn't you have a slave in Pakistan? And he was like, well, did, 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 did. but he, he did. Well, then His he also tried to defend like it being like, no, it was like kind of normal, right? Isn't that part of the interview? Where he's like, that was like a normal thing to have. Like it was a poor, like there's like levels of people in yeah. Pakistan. Yeah, like if you were rich enough, you had a person who did everything and they weren't allowed to, like they ate at the table, but they had to sit on the floor while everybody else was in chairs. <laughs> And they like couldn't. There weren't uh, a lot of bad stuff like that. And they ate the scraps that fell off their plates. Imagine having like thirty million dollars. You live in Hollywood. You're in the superhero movies, and like you're you're you like have trauma. But like you grew up in a Call of Duty map. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, have, I have trauma because of the AV club said Eternals was a little slow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, did, were you were you actually oppressed <laughs> from this thing? Like, was it like what is going on actually? I don't really know. Yeah. I also love the thing of like I'm you know I'm just sad that people don't respect me after I've made decisions that are extremely disrespectful <laughs> <laughs> to society and the world at large. I'm gonna kill myself. People are saying stupid wasn't very good. (laughs) I can't believe I filmed myself eating my own shit and people think I suck now. (laughs) What the, the world is unjust. I don't respect the, here's the least respectable thing of all time. Guy who's jacked who plays video games. It pisses me off. Oh yeah. Yeah. It really fucking pisses me off. Also, Camille was so funny when he was like getting into good shape because he would just go on talk shows and be like, I have a cake once a month and I want to kill myself every day. Yeah, and people are like what? Like, I mean, what you're is not this? supposed to live like that. It's fucked up. It's so great. No one saw the movie. Yeah, <laughs> and he has trauma over that. And stuff I like. saw it. It stunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was awful. Yeah, I mean, how is there going to be chemistry if everybody that's being filmed is just standing in front of a green screen, uh, yeah. looking at like a tennis ball on a traffic cone? <clears throat> I mean Also didn't they make him Indian in the movie Am I making that up Yeah, yeah he they is made Indian him in the movie He's yeah. like a Bollywood yes. star Hell yes Also it's so funny He's like never <laughs> once shirtless Like he from- got so jacked And he's literally wearing Like a long sleeve Superhero <laughs> outfit The entire time And he shoots lasers Out of his fingertips That is his superpower uh, He's from Pakistan right I think so yeah So they made him Indian In the movie Which means his whole family Probably got murdered For yeah. being in that movie Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. they hate each other Oh India yeah Indian Pakistan yeah, I hated that movie so much that that they should have called that one the Big Sick. <laughs> Very good. Ben. I was walking out of the theater feeling nauseous. <laughs> Very oh, good. It's not because his family was huffing Jankum the whole time next to you. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. snuck it into the theater <laughs> it like it's in. snacks. Uh, let's smoke a blunt of some Jankum. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be, I, if I ever like walked into like uh, Mel's like a diner or whatever in like Hollywood and like Judd Apatow and Kumail were, were like sitting there, yeah, I would walk past them and be like, <laughs> <laughs> and just like, like yeah, fucking right. bitch, and then Judd would flinch like a bitch. Yeah, Judd would tweet, <laughs> he could have killed me. <laughs> <laughs> he could have killed me. <laughs> Judd fucking sucks. Fuck him. Yeah. I hate Judd. I hate Judd forever. <laughs> he went on a press. He went on like a world tour after Louis got canceled yeah, just to dude. spread the word about how Louis is a rapist. Was really he was raping lame. crowds with his stand-up. No. So I'd say it's even. 
He's locking the doors yeah. of comedy club. I'm, I'm blocking glad he, the door. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone stay. Yeah. I'm glad he's finally making docu- documentaries telling me what it was like to get on Carson in the 80s. <laughs> I know. Yeah. He's just making documentaries where somebody goes, you have to understand, if you were on Carson... That was a big deal. <laughs> do you I'm think, like, well. Do you think his jokes are two hours too long, too? <laughs> Didn't uh, he, he have, goes he on a special, right, on Netflix? Yeah, I he think goes so. Did you watch it? Anyone watch it? He goes on stage and has uh, Paul Rudd fuck his wife. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd is losing it. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched one of his specials once. Yeah? It's just, he's like in a suit and, you know, it's like, you know, I, I can't even. I just, you just, I, I turn those things on and then like I blink and it's like, it's like, it's February. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> I'm like, how, I'm like, it's 2024 February. I'm podcasting in a car. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, I'll come to, I'll turn on a Judd Apatow like special and I'll like come to in a different life. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally like, like I was in college. I was like, what? I just met my girlfriend. We're the kid now. What's going on? <laughs> it's it's like fucking taking ayahuasca or something. God, look at this fucking train. Yeah, you just gotta wait on trains it's just here. Full of yeah, human like ten minutes. Huh? It's right. just corn syrup. Yeah, just. these trains are just here so uh, people who live here can kill themselves with them. <laughs> That's the only reason they're here for guys who look like uh, the bad guy from James Bond, Jaws, <laughs> to stick their giant melon under a wheel. <laughs> a guy trying to like jump onto the train just to blow his brains out because mm-hmm. <laughs> he was late and it couldn't, it couldn't hit him. I'd be a train enthusiast if I lived in Europe, but here trains just stop traffic for three hours. Yeah. And they're also carrying chemicals that if this train derails, we will like all turn into big skeletons holding microphones. <laughs> Man, trains go so slow. I actually I, know. I actually don't like trains. They I'm suck. Realizing. They suck. Yeah, trains fucking stink. Ugh. And that's the guy that fucking had to pass us. I'm on I'm in a rush. I gotta get to another town with nothing to do. <laughs> Yeah, with a sign for like, elect Ted Faggot for Congress <laughs> for the 160th once district. Shangardini's a fucking reach. Shangardini <laughs> fucking sex. <laughs> Fuck him. Tammy Pope's a drug addict. Tammy Pope's a drug addict. <laughs> 10 and 2 in the middle of nowhere, Texas. <laughs> like, I can't believe they ended Suave. <laughs> I can't believe. Like, yeah, Gardini left Big Chrissy behind. He's a fucking piece of shit. People we all like. People we all like. Yes, by the way. I love that. That's why it's so here. funny. Yes. It's just a guy. It's a redditor farmer. Yes. In the middle of nowhere. Just being like the podcast has gone downhill. <laughs> Loading barrels of hay. Just like I swear to God, if Michael Rainey tweets about getting pussy again, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I liked him better when he was on perks. <laughs> it is. Uh, I would say, in summary of the Texas trip, it was interesting to run into people that we've uh, only said bad things about on the show. <laughs> Incredibly <laughs> bizarre. And then they came up and shook our hands and told us that the show is great and that they love the sketches. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. And then we all like the fakest pieces of shit to ever live. Smiled and said, "Oh, thank you thank so you, much. It's great to see you. I yep. actually look up to you, man. Thank you so much." And then we went to our second live show, and you started saying how you want him to die. That's right. <laughs> yep. That's right. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm a big coward. <laughs> That's what you do. I'm a big coward, Oaks, incapable of being honest with anybody, and I'm I'm full of rage and hate. Yep. I'll I'll lie to anyone's face. And then I'll turn around and I'll say, fuck that guy. Hope he dies. <laughs> right. I'll tell someone I love them. I'm a big fan. I'll pick out a joke specifically I like. Then I'll turn around and I'll go, I hope he fucking gets cancer and dies. <laughs> and then if they... <laughs> <laughs> and then if they confront you, like, hey, I heard that thing. You said, you go, oh, dude, it's just comedy. Like, I, I love you, dude. They, the fans get that. And they'd be like, it wasn't comedy. Fuck him. <laughs> I hope everyone he knows gets sprayed. Cancer and fucking explodes. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, dude, saw the special. Great shit. It's also funny when you run into like a, um, you run into a person who just like is a, isn't in comedy and like is a fan of it. And they'll be like, oh, what about so and so? I go, I fucking hate them. I hope they die. And they go, why? And I go, I, Dude, you're a fucking idiot, too. I hope you die. Yes, yeah. I, I have no, I can't like gotta, eloquently explain uh, anything. I'm just like, dude, don't be a fucking, don't you, don't be a fucking asshole mm, to me right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, the amount of guys who walked up, they're like, dude, do you like, you know, Mike Jones? I'm like, I don't like myself, <laughs> <laughs> let alone any other comedian. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I do feel crazy because I'm like, everyone but me and my friends suck ass. Yeah, but we suck ass too. Absolutely. Honestly. I, I think we're actually, we're all pretty cool, right? Yeah, I guess, but. I guess we're like a very, we're like catty bitches, I guess. For sure. We are pretty gay. We're, we're like really fucking gay. Well, that's what's funny too is like, like we make fun of retarded people on the show constantly. And like mm-hmm. this whole trip, all we've done has been retarded. Dude, yeah. literally. We've been dr- doing donuts around donkeys in the middle of nowhere on four wheelers, like <laughs> saying like faggot. Like it makes no sense. We've literally, if we haven't been making knives or flipping off donkeys, we've been just talking shit. Yep. 24-7. Yeah. Yep. We're bad people. We had a great week and we're now doing an episode where we're like, this fucking state sucks ass. There's nothing to do. We had no fun. Well, we ran out of people to talk shit about. We started talking about shit about animals. Yeah. yeah. We, that was, That's how desperate our brains got. Yeah. Here's another thing about sheep. Yeah. Dude, we literally, were, we ran out of people to talk shit about it and it was like we were trying to name like guys from the 90s NBA. <laughs> like we were just like Nick Van X and we're like, oh yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Pull up a clip of that cow. He sucks. We walked around. We wanted to see the Charles Whitman clock tower where he, he killed all those uh, uh, people, all, all those college students. <laughs> and uh, we were just we were all walking around all all four of us talking like Cat Williams. Mm-hmm. That's what we oh, did for yeah. like two. We are yeah. literally so fucking stupid. Yeah. We, we were doing another. <laughs> yeah. Like we're actually dumbasses. Yeah. Yeah. We were walking around 19 year old college students being like, Shannon shop. I invented arithmetic. <laughs> we were doing schizophrenic Cat Williams for nine hours. Mm. <laughs> and eventually we had done him so much that the accent became Shannon Shop. I <laughs> turned into Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> Shannon Shop. I'm Rosa Parks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, we did Cat Williams like all day. <laughs> yeah, we did. Then we did Cat Williams uh, doing anything. Like I invented AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, I am Hitler. Mm-hmm. And Corey Holcomb's a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Smiley needs to be exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, Shannon. Slappy Johnson's not who he says he is. Slappy Johnson is a fraud, and I invented Slitterbond. I invented the water slide that goes up, Shannon Chop. I have debilitating schizophrenia. I'm one of the greatest comics of all time, and my brain is popcorn. <laughs> I've, we've like, and I'm Cat Williams. At this point, we've, all, William, we've declared him the funniest man alive. He is the yeah, goat. By yeah. Simultaneously, he's severely mentally ill, <laughs> yeah. and everything he says is probably a lie. Yeah. He goes, Gary Owens is cheating on his wife, and I got my ass beat by children. <laughs> I'm. I am the kid who beat my ass, Shannon. I am. I am all five of those teenagers, Shannon. Those three boys dress up in a trench coat, and now they're Cat Williams, who is me, <laughs> and has schizophrenia. I beat my own ass, Shannon. Shannon Chop, the government's trying to steal my teeth and put messages in my brain. <laughs> I'm Cat Williams. And the white guys in Silver Lake be like, I fucking love Cat Williams. I like him. I can run a 4.2 in one second. <laughs> Shannon Shop, time goes faster for me than it does for most people. I'm schizophrenic Cat Williams. I'm Cat Williams, and they don't let me keep shoelaces on my feet. <laughs> well, uh, th- it's uh, been a great Texas trip. I think Connor turned to us at one point and was like, this is the most fun I've ever had. For real, dude. This was so much fun. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting to so meet fun. everybody, see everybody. Shout out to the guy who brought Red Dive 40 to the Houston show. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it was everybody, cool to meet everyone in person because I recognize the usernames and everything. Yeah, yeah everyone's been really, really. Everybody really came cool. out and it was very funny because on stage we were making fun of them just to do a comedy show, yeah. and then they would do that. We'd do the meeting groups. We'd be like, they come up, they'd be like, "I'm so fu- sorry, I'm fucking," and we'd be like, "Dude, thank you so much for coming mm-hmm. out." Yeah. Dude, and I've been having a blast doing stand-up for an audience that you trained to hate stand-up comedy. <laughs> it's been really fun. The second I get up there, like, he's said this before, we can tell it sucks, he's corny. <laughs> and shout out uh, those guys we hung out with after the Houston show. Yes. They were really cool. Yeah, they were very cool. Yeah. 
yeah, so I'm on uh, Friday on Patreon is going to be the live podcast with Shane in Austin where we make people put on diapers and we have uh, a muckbanger on stage. Shout out to Eli. Shout out to everybody that came to the Austin show. Shout out to fucking Spanky from yes. the Little Rascals who came. So many, so many pe- people drove from uh, Canada. Yeah. People yeah. drove from like, oh God, people drove thousands of miles for that yeah. show. It was it Like was I drove so 2,000 cool. miles. Yeah. Um, that was crazy. But uh, God bless everyone. Patreon.com slash Lemon Party for an extra episode every week. Uh, Connor McNutt, where can people find you, my good sir? Uh, 420 Naughty Boy on Instagram. That's it. And uh, Connor's a very funny stand-up. You should go see his, uh, his a monthly live show in Los oh, Angeles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, the next one That's is... Okay. Uh, I got it, buddy. When does this come out? It's come out Tuesday? It comes out on Tuesday. Perfect, yeah. So uh, next Saturday, uh, February 17th. MKM Cultural Arts Center in North Hollywood. Yeah, and that's Link the venue is in my where bio. we'll be doing the live limit party, too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Same venue. I like the venue when I went to... And sometimes me and Devin go to the Connor's show and we hang out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and we and we, and we hope there's some very hateful people there that we can talk to after. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we can be like, let, let me tell you a little thing or two about Ari Shafir. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you a little... Let bit. me expose your favorite comic <laughs> real quick. <laughs> 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 oh, you love that guy? I'm going to ruin your whole reality. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone follow Connor McNaught. He's a very funny stand-up. We, all, we, we started with him, uh, and we've stayed very good friends with him for a long time just because he's so goddamn funny. Thanks, man. And we just love him, and uh, he's a great man. Uh, Devin at Hate Watch Pod. Yes. Uh, Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. Um, thanks everybody for coming out. We're gonna plan. You can stop asking us to come places. We're planning another tour here in a few months uh, to the East Coast. Do a little East Coast run. See, uh, maybe do some podcasts over there too. Some uh, people you guys have been asking us to do pods with. And uh, I'm trying to think of anything else here, boys. I think that's just about it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep, uh, I think that's it. We're on our. We're almost. We got two more hours to Fort Worth, and uh, I want to swing by Dealey Plaza. I want to see where they killed John F. Kennedy, where they blew his head off, <laughs> and uh, then we got to then we got to perform in front of the Super Bowl second half, which is going to be interesting. <laughs> what a what a day! Going to be a giant projector behind us playing the Super Bowl <laughs> as we do a podcast in the banquet Kennedy spoke at before they killed him. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if Travis Kelsey got paralyzed today. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, guys, patreon.com slash lemon party. Follow us on YouTube, Apple, Spotify, whatever, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.